Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to the channel. My name is T and this is my channel Compass Tea and Snowing. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a tutorial on how to lower your armhole area and make adjustments to that area just in case you feel as though it's too tight. Um, I'll also give you some tips on how to raise it as well just in case you think it's too baggy. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the video and I'll tell you how you can make the perfect armhole for you. Okay, everyone, so let's jump right into the video and I'm going to show you how to raise and lower your armhole area for a commercial pattern. The things that you will need for this pattern is a curve ruler. I use this curve ruler right here. It's by Dritz and I purchased this from Joanne Fabrics. It's not anything special. It's just a standard curve ruler and I use it for all of my, my needs. I also uh, use a pair of scissors for this project and a pen. And I usually use two different pens so that I can distinguish between marks. And I also use a commercial pattern. Now the pattern that I'm working with today is um, a Berta pattern. And this is the Berta 6326 pattern. It's just a really cute shirt pattern that I made a couple weeks ago. Um, I will be doing a pattern review on that. So if you're interested, I can um, make sure that I put the link in this video when that video is up. And also here is some transparent paper and I purchased this off of Amazon. I will put that in the description box below so that you can go over and purchase it if you decide that you want to do that. So the first thing that I do is I lay out my commercial, my commercial pattern. And after I lay out my com commercial pattern, I put the transparent piece of paper on top and I trace the transparent piece of paper, or I'm sorry, I trace the commercial pattern with the transparent piece of paper. And then I mark all of the marks and the notches. Make sure that when you're doing this, that you don't forget anything. You want to make sure that you get everything right because you don't want to miss any of your notches or your marks and you want to make sure that your size is right so if you want a size 10 for the shoulders then put a size 10 for the shoulders and if you want to do like a size 14 for the side of the arms then you can do that right here i am grading because my arms are larger than my bust area and so i usually use about a size or two higher in the the numbers um, of a commercial pattern than I use for my bus. So I am grading in between. So if you are lowering your armhole or uh, raising your armhole using this tutorial, make sure that you do all of your adjustments before you lower your armhole. Otherwise, you're going to have to go back and do all that stuff over again and it'll be a pain. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead, when you're lowering your armhole, you want to lower it by a half an inch to one inch at the most. You don't want to go over one inches. Right here, I am lowering it by a half an inch and you're going to put, put it right below the end of the armhole area and then you're going to get your curve ruler and you're going to put your curve ruler, the end of the curve, right by that half an inch where you lowered it by a half an inch and then you're going to taper use the ruler to taper it up to the shoulder now you don't want to take out any of the pattern of the shoulder so make sure that you taper it just like this okay so let me show you what you're going to do if you want to raise the armhole area. The principle and the method is the same. You're going to use the same technique. The only difference is you're going to be using the curve ruler to go above the armhole area instead of below. So you're going to go ahead and mark your placement for a half an inch or an inch. So you need to go um, no more than one inch because if you go more than one inch, then it's not going to work for the pattern. All right. So um, you're just going to go ahead and place it, place your mark somewhere near this area right here. So you're always going to make that adjustment down here. 
never up here because this is the part that you want to lower and then you want to just go you want to slowly taper in so we're going to go ahead and mark our placement here so say you want to go um an inch above or half an inch above the largest size on this pattern you're going to go ahead and mark a half an inch right here at the end of your armhole area and then you're going to go ahead and use your ruler to make that adjustment and then taper in to the desired size at the top of the of the shoulder so let me show you how to do that there's something very important that i forgot to mention in the beginning and that is when you are doing these adjustments make sure that you make the same adjustment that you make to the back bodice to the front bodice as well otherwise your sleeve and your armhole area is going to be wonky and it won't look right so keep that in mind that you will need to do both the back and the front bodice when you're making these adjustments I want to go ahead and explain this in more detail so you're not confused as to what's going on and um, just confused as to what you're looking at here. The reason why my adjustments look so wide in this area here is because I have the example for the lowering of the armhole and the raising of the armhole on the same piece of paper because I didn't want to waste my paper. When you do this, however, you are only going to do one or the other so you will either raise the armhole area or lower the armhole area and remember you don't want to raise it no more than one to one and a half inches how you grade your armhole area after making your half an inch or one inch adjustment will depend on the size you choose for your shoulder and your armhole i chose a size 10 for my shoulder and a size 14 for my armhole and I had to sacrifice a little bit of the pattern in between the shoulder and the base of the armhole to get that fit that I wanted. And, and that's okay because that's what we call grading. So I had to basically grade in between sizes a bit. Um, and so basically how your pattern may look at the end when you finish, it may look slightly or drastically different than mine based on the sizes that you choose for your shoulder and your the lower part of your armhole area so just keep that in mind when you're doing the pattern that um, it may look a little bit different than what mine looks like and that's okay that is it everyone as you can see it doesn't take that much to alter the pattern and to raise or lower that armhole area it's very simple yeah that's it it's just very simple very easy all you have to do is uh, grade up or grade down using the curve ruler and that's it you're set and ready to go make sure that when you are altering your patterns and your grading um, one thing you need to remember is that really you're grading in between sizes and so uh, your lines you do want your lines to be smooth and nice and um, so that you can have a really nice clean finish and a clean garment but you're not going to be able to get your lines exactly on um, the the next size up or down um, it's not going to be exactly on those lines and following those lines because you're creating a whole new armhole area per se. Now, one thing that I do want to mention when you are making these adjustments, you don't want to go over one inch for your armhole area, about one to one and a half inches. You don't want to raise or lower the armhole no more than that because if you do, then you're going to need to... Um, restructure and redraft the armhole area and then also the sleeve so and then you have to find out placements for where notches are going to be and all that other stuff so this is just for a simple alteration just a minor adjustment to raise or lower the armhole area by an inch or less than an inch if you go over that then most likely you are creating a whole new pattern and you're going to need to readjust your sleeve and your sleeve head, your cap and all that. And so that's a whole nother beast. <laughs> um, but this is just simply for raising and lowering the armhole by 
an inch and a half or under.